All right. So, once more into the breach. Uh oh, water. Okay. Ah, that's gonna be one of those things, huh? All right. I really like the sort of fuzzy pixel art. Like, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but uh, uh, what's another game that had this? Um, right. Quest for Glory 4 had this, and I think it was actually just art scanned in and sort of edited to be pixely. Because, um, I mean, that's, that's all the resolution they had. But, uh, ow. But, um... Yeah, it looked really good. Oh, I guess that was a higher jump than I, I guess I just was underestimating how low my normal jump is. I thought it would maybe be like 10 times the normal jump. Huh. I guess those things are just supposed to symbolize electrical wires, but I keep thinking that like, oh, that's some sort of like malicious force. Cause I mean, that thing hit her before and it was, it was real bad juju. Oh, I wanted to do a fast wall kick, like between the two walls. Oh well. Bloop. Look at these awesome stalactites, like... What a beautiful power plant, like, you would never see a power plant this awesome. What? I have a freaking bubble sh- oh. oh. Wait, hang on, what? What's this for? Oh, I bet I gotta carry it on. To this. Yep. Alright. Big old door. What is this? Interesting. Probably gonna need that. It's neat how the the buds let you adjust your energy level pretty much whenever you need, so. You can't mess yourself up, basically. Ooh. Though that was a little rough. Take it a little bit slow now. I also like that the... It gives you some warning. Why do I slow down sometimes? Hmm. Does this actually grant me immunity to the yellowness? Or the... I guess it does. Oh, I'm so slow vertically. But yeah, that, that makes sense. But there we go. I actually need to get hit by this a bit. That's better. All right, gotta go fast. I like that it, it shows that you have low health without um, without being like, hey, I'm gonna beep loud noises at you all the time because I'm really freaking annoying. Like, you know, your classic Zelda game would do that. They've made it less annoying in more recent Zeldas, but uh, it can be a real pain. The vertical dis- you, you wouldn't think, like... It's not unusual to see a speed up. Um, like a horizontal speed change, but it's so weird to have the vertical speed down. Oh, right. Am I supposed to be carried by the freaking lasers? I think I am. Yep! Sure enough! That's neat! Alright, I like this level. So you can't absorb the buds if you need to. The buds seem mostly to be there to um, to give you the option to uh, to heal up or whatever. Ah. Didn't quite have that. What? Oh, I, I thought it was gonna carry that all the way to a door, but I guess it was just to protect you through the things. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't block against that. Alright. Oh, dang! The low health thing. Or the low jump speed thing is annoying. Alright, we got through fine. Alright, no problem. I'm getting teeny bits of slowdown here and there. 
not a big deal though. There we go. Okay. I'm not sure if that's some kind of like hit stop, like deliberate thing. Oh, can't cl wall clean glass. Makes sense. A very peaceful power plant. I was expecting a bit more drama, like like we're here to investigate issues. Wait a minute, what? I think maybe I need to be maxed out on green. Possibly I need to be maxed out on purple and then make the super wide jump. But if that's the case, why would I? Oh, I can barely even get hit by it. Oh, oh, this is where I can charge up my purple. All right, I think I can do this now. Oh, see, it's doing that slow down. It, it seems like when my health is low, so to speak, it happens more often. Oh, no, 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 frick. You get so little vertical- up oh, dead! I turned it into a shield. Ah, uh, all the way back here. Oh well. Hmm, not sure that was actually... Still not sure I have this one solved. No, I really don't think this is gonna work. Unless. Uh oh. Alright. No? Okay, unless this. Ooh. I'll try it. Can I get up here perhaps? I do not think I'm supposed to be here. I... <laughs> I don't think you were supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> um, well, that's what you get from making a puzzle I don't know how to solve, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll let the developer know about that one. I'm, this is my, you know, even the ocean speed run, you know. Pre-launch speed runs, that's my specialty. It won't be pre-launched by the time you uh, watch this video, but uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I've seen some devs um, give their game to speedrunners, um, sort of see see what they can do with the game. Um, you know, Metroidvania style things, things that you know encourage speedrunning, which. This game does have a speedrun mode. Not sure that totally removes the speed. Oh, there's a little map. So yeah, we're almost at the end. Ah, oh, rude. All right, so actually, be a little bit easier with the high jump. Very peaceful game. Very very peaceful. I was. With the power plant stuff, I was expecting some more drama and danger. Maybe there'll be more later, but I don't know. I, I could also see this being the sort of game that doesn't really have enemies, so to speak. You know, just has, it has hazards, but you know. Could be wrong, though. Um, I don't know all of these, all of the secrets. So final room should be fairly close, I think. Uh-oh. Whee! Ooh, ooh, that was a little dangerous. Uh oh. Bad juju. Okay, hold on. There we go. I do love the ver the 
It feels really good being able to just freaking fly like that. And it doesn't seem to slow you down too much. Maybe it does. Maybe I just can't tell. But, uh... Alrighty. Is this the end? Nope. Sure isn't. Alright, where's... Uh oh Oh. Oh, dang. Rude. Okay. Of course you gotta go the long way around. There we go. Bloop. Now, is this the exit? The way that map looked... I guess the maps are a little oversimplified. Uh, I e, dang, that was a little rough. But whatever, we're fine. Oh, it's this part. Does this signify the end of the area? The music changed, so I'm suspicious. What is this? The music is ominous. Oh, oh, it's another one of these. Ow. Wait a minute, what? Oh. I see. There we go. I was about to say, how, how could you even get that through? But yeah, that's fine. Never mind. Lots of save points. Oh. Okay. Oh. I, I like when games have, like, like I said, it's a very accessible game, so that means no, um, oh, she's got, um, proper turning sprites instead of, you know, just mirrored. Um, uh, not because of an amazing amount of animation going on in there, but, uh, it's always a nice touch. Oh. I can use this to finish fixing the power plant, but first I'll need to fix all the receptors. Oh. So we're almost done. I think I lost whatever I thought I was thinking about. Uh oh. I like how you can hear there's low health beeps, but they only trigger while you are in fact um, taking the damage. Because usually there's no reason that you would need you know a constant beeping sound. It's just like oh hey, if you didn't know your your health is low. Or, you know, your polarity is dangerous, rather. But, uh... Wait. Where's the... Oh. Okay. Hmm? Uh. Maybe it has to be at the... Bottom. Then I just run through? Okay. There you go. And I'll absorb those. Do you think touching all those weird things and having your like body energy manipulated constantly feels funny? Just gotta adjust some settings first. Oh, right, hacking mini game. Very, very easy one again. Incredibly easy. Finally, now just input some commands. Hello, Whiteforge? Aleph, I'm getting reports that energy levels are coming back online at Dream Tram Canyon. Truly excellent work. I know I could count on you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We'll talk details when you get back. Have a safe trip. Okay, bye. Well, that's that. Better head back to Whiteforge. Having finished her repair, Aleph made her way back to the power plant, settling out on a return to Whiteforge City. I guess we're only 15 minutes in, so we might as well see whatever's waiting for us at White Forge. What is this? Ooh! Pile of stones looks deliberately stacked. There are traces of purple dye. What is this? Oscar Basin. Should really get back to the city before doing anything else. Oh, but that looks so cool, though! Something I really miss about JRPG maps is, like, super cool optional areas and just seeing a little bit of, like, Oh, new place, and you see weird, like, landscape features. Oh, there's a, there's a cave there, though. At least let me mark it. Oh, whatever. We'll explore more next time. 
I think white forward was up this way. What is this? Oh, these fish are jumping really high out of the water. Scales getting green in the sunlight. Alright, back to boring, stupid, dumb white forge city for losers. Meh. I don't trust this mayor, dude. You may have noticed by the voice I give him, or the fact that he's deliberately sketchy, but. Welcome back, Alf! What an incredible work! You're an inspiration to us all. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Now, of course you succeed in turning power back on a Dram Dram Canyon. How about your secondary mission? Did you find out what caused the malfunction in the first place? There's a few odd things I noticed. There was these clumps of stuff. It's hard to explain. Look kind of like animal carcasses, but not made of flesh and bone. It also, well, it sounds unbelievable. I heard sightings of a giant creature at the plant. I don't know what to make of it. I didn't see any of these giants myself. Hmm. Dr. Woodsnick. Of course, sir. He's, he's Dr. Robotnik's, like, frickin' tree-hugger cousin, Dr. Woodsnick. I know it's Wadsnick, but still. Of course, sir. Uh, what is it? Oh, just assigning my top scientists to look into these very strange reports. Very good of work, of course, Alf. Good eye. Uh, Alf, take this. It's, for, it's a vial for preserving tissue samples. If you run across any more of these carcasses, retrieve a sample of this issue. I'm trying to contaminate you too much. All right, will do. No, I'd like to take you the rest of the week off. But unfortunately, we have a bit of a situation. The other technicians- I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. I have to do all three. And the technicians have some travel issues on route to the other two power plants. Well, apparently, they've been running into blocked roads and sinkholes left and right. Between you and me, I think these two might not be as hardworking and persistent as you are, Alf. Yeah, obviously, there there's not two other- There aren't two other people, are there? It's just me. These kinds of people, they often aren't range with- a culture of expectation in the home, you know? But anyone can make it. You live in proof of that, Aleph. Anyway, I'm gonna have to ask you to head out tomorrow and help out Lopez at the Rescue Beach or Paxton at Borealis Heights. Hopefully you'll be able to meet up with them with a plan and work on fixing it together. With any luck, some of your work ethic might run off on them, eh? <laughs> okay, well, go get some rest. Make sure you check it in when you get when you get there tomorrow, alright? Alright, sure, miss. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. For allegedly not being the easiest one, that wasn't really too hard. But maybe none of them are. Or maybe just always the first one you go to is easy and it's, you know, dynamic. Or like, it gets harder as it goes on. It's the lobby of the lighthouse. Let's go to the history wing. That sounds fun. Can't go in. The sign says the history. Ah! Don't you but thou must me. Oh, let's go to the art museum! Hell yeah! Windford is biggest museum and a college, too. People watch. Oh, did I tell you? I found out today Bradley, some years ago, he faked the PhD on his business cards. What? Really? You know, that doesn't surprise me. Man, that guy's got managerial issues. Every intern he has quits. I don't get why he's still here. Mate, neither. We got a Chivo for that. The Art Institute of White Forge. White Forge is the biggest museum. And a college, too. Oh, we already saw that part. Go on a tour. Alef waited for the tour to start. Hi, um. Are you here for the start of the tour? Yeah, is it starting soon? Yeah, it's supposed to, but actually, museum policy says that I can't give the tour unless there are at least five guests. Oh, so this is the tour canceled? Yeah, I'm really sorry, it's just policy. The museum, it's well, we're getting busy for an upcoming exhibition, if you know what I mean. And, uh, don't worry, it's fine. I'm, I'm fine turning around here myself. I get pretty busy here. Alright, great, thanks. It's such a shame, but feel free to come back when the exhibition opens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're a tour guide here? Just filling in for a few weeks. I'm actually curator for the exhibition. And other than that, I do research on art in the construction period of the Apex District. Oh, that sounds fascinating. I don't know that much about art at all. I was a technician for the power plants myself. <laughs> a technician? Cool. You should totally stop by in a few weeks for the new exhibition opens up. I think it might be interesting for you since it deals apart with the construction of the Apex District. Later. Alright. Let's look around. It looks pretty quiet today. Blah, blah, blah. Closed off room. It's undergoing excavation. Oh, uh, sure. Alright. Nothing here, then. We got a Chivo for people watching, though. Windsweet Patio. 
Sounds fancy. Well, the people don't look too fancy, but otherwise, I'm sure. I just noticed her hair. It's the two symbol, the two elements. Of course it is. Just a minute, just a minute. There we are now. Hey, scram, you old punk, foul creature. Oh, not you, I'm talking about those pesky ragbards. Those brown birds? Those gray ragbards are stuffing their small world faces with snow at feed. Organic important calories seem to be precise. Specially formulated for the sun and snow it. It's a crime, I tell you. See this ragbud shovel it down like cheap sorghum. Now hold on a minute. I'll wager you can help make things right. What do you mean? You can scare fever ragbuds away by jumping at the faders when they come close to roost. Oh, mini game time. Make sure you're not to frighten in my darling snowlets, though. If you do well over a short period of time, they'll marry a sweet treat for you. What do you say? Where, where do you buy candy? I don't know where they come from. My certificate birthday I received a tureen filled with these candies and said for young'uns. I've been hanging out ever since. Alright, let's play a minigame. What is a ragbird? Is that a ragbird? Okay. Okay, I think that should do it. Come over here. Ha, just this last. What, what a relief to see those vile scavengers all run then. Yeah, take this red ray oozer for your trouble. Sure, thanks. Wow, it's really sweet. How can kids eat these? Oh, we just got a candy can. No, Stanley. Stan, Stanley. I told you, 20 reams of the 60 pound recycled brand salmon, got it? And don't forget the gloss cover and cream cheese. What on earth are you eating? We need the reports not looking not only spick, but also span for the quantity. Oh, it's paper. I thought it was eating it, like salmon and cream cheese. I would not recommend that. All right, let's go to the city, I guess. I should get some rest before heading out again. All right, I guess we'll see if we get a scene at home and then I'll call it quits once we get, because we'll be at about 60 or 30 minutes. Oh, the ground lines, where'd he go? Oh, we can go to the library now. Let's learn. This guy looks ready to learn. How are you doing, librarian man? So what do you have any recommendations here? Recommendations, yeah. Do you like history books? Uh, maybe, depends. I don't dislike history. Well, I've just purchased a few extra copies of travel guides of famous power plants and the environments around them. It's kind of popular right now, so it sounds interesting to you. I'd pick up a copy right now. Really? Why is it so popular? Well, the word is, there have been some uh, freak accidents at some of the power plants near Windforge. You know, naturally, such a popular topic is now popular. I've been doing some digging around at times. Uh, okay. Pollution, huge explosion, death by... I know, I know, it's bad. Right. So I figured that people would want to know about these places because disaster strikes so-and-so town and everyone wants to know about so-and-so town. You know, kids, adults, conspiracy theorists. It's straining the budget a bit, but hey, people like them. Good for library traffic. I wonder if I should go set off some disaster myself. Please don't. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah. Anyway, if you're interested, there's a... It's in the new releases section. All right, thanks. We got we got a Chivo for going to the library. If only IRL Chivos did that. Oh, you get... You get a read about whatever place you've been. I like little things like this. Tucked away along the side of a canyon wall, Dream Dram Canyon's power plant is located in an environment with one of the most mineral and crystal rich soils in the entire world. While tours of this power plant have historically been strictly prohibited, a number of legal viewing spots are available. As you climb Dream Dam Canyon's staggered walls and slopes, you'll be able to see the river passing through the canyon, as well as the distant power plant whose facade sticks out from the climbs to the canyon wall. At the bottom of the canyon, you'll find relief. Among the bottom of the canyon is its easy and flat to walk to the viewing areas. Along the way, you might notice the high energy concentration of soil provides a variety of flora that make the Dream Dream Canyon one of the most otherworldly environments in the world. As opposed to one of the most otherworldly, or one of the most worldly environments in the other world. 
While you may visit the canyon at any time, we recommend visiting during a cloudy night as the crystal glow from the four canyon walls combined for the power plant's lights and the night horizon to provide a uniquely dream dram view. Never mind. So the library just lets us read about places we've been to. So no spoilers. Let's eat some foods. What you got for me? I heard you trained with my kids, you can pollen. They were so excited to have a real power plant worker telling us the designs. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. They were a big help. I didn't actually go there, but whatever. What'll it be? I just give me some fried egg bowls. Delicious. I wish we had Japanese food here. That's the one... Well, I mean, there's lots of food we don't have here, but that's the one, like, major, you know ethnic sort of food that I that I want to have that we don't seem to have here. Um, we got really good Chinese, Taiwanese, um, and uh, Mexican places. We got we used to have a Cantonese place that was really good, but uh, they closed down. Anyway, video game. Alf, you're back. Hello, Yara. Yeah, everything went okay. I know what happened to Cassidy was a freak accident, but I couldn't help myself from being worried about you going to the field again. Couldn't shake the feeling something would have somehow go terribly wrong. Kind of did, but we forget about that because, you know, save, er, save files. I'm glad you're safe. Anyway, one of these days, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stop monologuing at you. No, it's okay, really. It's good to hear a sincere voice. I don't know anyone here well in Whiteforge. <laughs> okay. Wanna eat dinner at my place? Sure. I hope you like muffins. Muffins are the only food I know how to make? How can muffins be the only thing you know how to make? Muffins are... Like, that's not simple. You grow vegetables! Just eat the vegetables! What is a meat muffin? Is that a real thing? That sounds like... Something Hannibal Lecter would have. And jam muffins? What? I spent the evening with Yara, and it was the least alone I had felt in a long time. We didn't talk a lot. Things are still kind of weird between us. Cassidy must be on her mind a lot. Can't tell if she doesn't blame me for what happened. The fact that we can sit together and just keep each other company feels really special. A new day. Time to head off to find a new plant. I'm a bit early. I think I'll stop by the library. Should be there to get there via the ground line. The only thing you can do in your home is leave. Alright, I'm gonna save. Also, I should feel I should point out this game has pretty good diversity in terms of you know skin tones and it hasn't. Oh, I forgot the I forgot the chill button, the best button. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't really hit you in the face. It's just like, well, it kind of does due to you know the lack of diversity on most other games. You're kind of like, oh, there's a second person with like darker than pearlescent skin. Huh, interesting. But you know, it doesn't really feel you know it's, they're just there. And that's good. It's fine. And, um, you know, nobody's really, I mean, there's no, I mean, there's no real stereotype, like, characters. Like, it's its own world, and it doesn't seem to borrow too much. Like, there's the creepy mayor, there's the sleazeball mayor, but there's always going to be sleazeball mayors. But, um, I like the characters so far. I wasn't quite sure what to expect from this, but I, I've been, I've been... I've been really liking this. It's a little bit on the easy side, but uh, then again, there's lots of narrative stuff going on too. I do wonder what. Let's now that I'm a bit more familiar. Let's let's take a look at these speedrun options. What I don't expect to use: fast dialogue, area, area cards, get screen fades, turn off save point auto save. That's an interesting one because there's that little bit of a delay. Press down to fall off wall. I actually kind of want that one. Disable in-game joypad. Now screen flashes, flow movement. Instead of jumping, use the arrow keys of loader on. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, no dying. So there's extreme accessibility options. I didn't even notice that. Rectangular gates and, oh, that's become pass through. Oh, they probably don't care too much about that sequence break then, since you can just, you know, do that. Uh, sound effects captions. Oh my gosh. Do you know how freaking rare it is? To find a game with proper closed captioning, um, literally the last like 
it's only Valve's games. It's only Half-Life and, like, Portal. And I think... I'm not sure if Team Fortress 2, because that's a pretty loud game. You know, there's a lot going on. But it might. I don't know. But, yeah, like, so few games bother to do any kind of closed captioning. You know, they just do subtitles. Adds block to make levels easier. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one, too. I like that there's, like, different, like... Like, in a way, you could say no dying, and especially with float movement, you know. You know, just go do whatever, you know, with those on. But it has, like, you know, helper blocks, milder energy, all... So, yeah, it lets you... You know, it's not just an instant win button. It lets you pick, you know, okay, you know, maybe I have some minor motor, motor issues, and I can't do things quite fast enough, but I don't want to just, you know instant win the game so i turn on milder energy and you know i have more time to get around you know i really like when they have you know it's like a it's like a spectrum of of uh you know difficulty along all of the axes um it's really cool anyway next episode we'll like actually we'll go to the next thing or ding power plant but yeah this has been even the ocean and that's i'm this has been really great like I said, it's it's kind of easy, but um, but it's got a lot else going on.